there, I'm meteorologist Chicago Wendler. The weekend is here. Whether it's football or just getting outside, I urge you to go ahead and have the poncho pack just in case, or the raincoat. There may be a couple of showers around. As much as we need the rain, it might briefly interrupt some of your outdoor plans. Here's more in tonight's Chicks Chat. And I'll start you with a look at where the rain fell on Friday. You can see a lot of spots that didn't get it, but then a big area from Caldwell County where some wind damage was reported out right along the Travis and Hayes County line, stretching up toward Blanco County and then into southern sections of Burnett County. Some areas picking up as much as 85 hundredths of an inch of rain. That reported near Dripping Springs and also near Spicewood. Now we advance in time. Not only will we be tapping the tropical moisture that's been in place already from the leftovers of Dolly, but also a cold front to our north. So that means if you're heading to the Longhorns game, I've got a 20% chance of showers, kickoff temperature right around 92 degrees. Heading east for the Aggies home opener? If so, kickoff is at 6.30, temperature right around 90 degrees, a 30% chance of seeing a shower or thunderstorm pop up, and probably around 80 degrees by the end of the game. Keeping in mind, if we do see some showers, it might even be a smidge cooler than that. How about Southwestern? This is Adam Winkler's favorite team. He uh, is predicting a win, I think, at least one this season. They've been winless so far. Temperature right around 89 degrees at kickoff, down to 80 by the time we reach the end of the game and a 30% chance of some showers. So putting it all together, we talked about the rain. Now we're going to talk about more rain. 20% chance for Saturday, mainly from noon through night. Then Sunday, a 30% chance. Highs both days 97, normal high is 93 degrees. Here's a closer look at your Saturday. 70s in the morning, upper 80s in the, uh, by noontime, and upper 90s for your high temperature. And it looks as though that cold front that is up to our north will basically be the focus for some showers and thunderstorms all weekend long. So hour by hour forecast, you can basically see there's no widespread heavy or steady rain, but just pop up isolated tropical downpours here and there like we've seen recently. It now looks like the cold front may make it all the way into Central Texas. If you've been watching the last couple of days, I was thinking you might stall to our north. But if it comes in, switches our winds briefly to the north and east, we may still have enough of a leftover boundary to pop a couple more showers and thunderstorms on Sunday, which is why I've got you at a 30% chance. Okay, when do things change? The first cold front does not change our temperatures at all. In fact, behind it, as it fizzles, temperatures skyrocket. 99 Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, we could tie records with triple digits. Then late Thursday night into Friday, a strong cold front barrels through. 20% chance of rain late Thursday, 30% chance of rain on Friday, high on Friday, only 93. And if this forecast were to go out to Saturday the 13th, I think we'd have highs in the 80s. You have it, take your umbrella, have a great weekend, and thanks as always for checking out Chicks Chats.